everyone, I'm Dr. Carolyn Willekes, and welcome to the Tale Behind, a vlog series in which we explore our colorful relationship with the animals in the world around us. This week's episode is all about the cat, a species with whom we have a pretty complicated history. You see, sometimes we've loved them, and sometimes not so much. But no culture can be said to have revered or respected the cat more than the ancient Egyptians. Now, the figure we most commonly connect to the cat in ancient Egypt is Bastet. She was the goddess of childbirth and motherhood, and in Egyptian art, she often takes on the form of a female house cat. But she wasn't the only god known to take the form of a feline. Ra, the sun god, did the same thing, but he had a very special and important reason for doing so. You see, Ra was responsible for carrying the sun across the heavens, for bringing light to the world, and he did this with his flying sun barge. But according to Egyptian mythology, at the end of the day, when his barge reached the end of the heavens, it would descend into the underworld, heralding the arrival of nighttime, the coming on of darkness. But for Ra, night was not a time of rest and relaxation. In fact, as his barge descended into the underworld, this is when Ra took on the form of a cat, a male tabby cat. Why did he do this? Because he was about to engage in a nightly battle with his eternal foe, Apophis, the serpent. Apophis wasn't a big fan of sunlight. He actually wanted to plunge the world back into chaos and eternal darkness. But in order to do this, he had to stop Ra from bringing the sun back up the next morning. He had to stop the sun from rising. How do you do that? You defeat Ra. So every night, these two foes, they locked in combat, and thankfully for the humans of Egypt, Ra always won. This meant that the sunrise could happen the next morning. Uh, random fact, by the way, uh, according to ancient Egypt, uh, Egyptian tradition, this is why the sunrise was red. Uh, it was a symbolic thing to, to mark the blood spilt uh, between uh, the serpent and the cat in their big old battle that happened every night. Okay, so the sun is really important. As humans, we need the sun. The sun is kind of uh, essential to our survival. So if Ra has to enter this battle with a serpent every night to make sure that the sun can rise the next morning, why on earth is he a house cat? I mean, why not be a more ferocious animal like a lion uh, or a crocodile, even a hippo? They're one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Why a cat? It's because of how the Egyptians viewed their house cats. They were seen as protectors of the home. Cats are hunters, even our little tabby cats. And so cats, or house cats, hunted the serpents, the snakes, the scorpions, the spiders, the mice, the rats who invaded our houses in Egypt and threatened our survival. Sometimes these animals could be dangerous. And so just as cats were viewed as protectors of the home and the families who lived there, Ra, the cat god, was seen as a protector of the universe and a defender of mankind by ensuring that the sun was able to rise each morning. 